Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to James Cameron's Avatar the Game. Last time we got into our Avatar and we uh, came over here, met up with Harper, this guy, and this one of these guys started charging us. And Tanjala, this guy over here, helped us. And so we're going to see what, uh, what we can so maybe help, help him with. Clean infected herds. Sky people bring disease to our beasts. Where'd you learn English? Rene Harper has taught us your words for many summers. He is good. He says you help. Go. Yes, I help. I help much. <laughs> All right, we can do that. We got a big old honking M60 here. Also, I noticed. Uh, whoops! Oh no, not that weapons. There we go. What? What's new in the weapons? Oh, that. Okay. Yeah, easy enough. Pandora PD at work, like I said, uh, you know, in the first episode, we're gonna have a lot of stuff in there. I'm not gonna try and read all of it because it'll take forever. Die, die, yeah! Wow, that uh, that went down quicker than I thought it would, to be honest. Oh wow, I got 50 XP for that. Oh yeah, it doesn't have nearly as much health as I thought it did. Not that it matters. I have unlimited ammo. <laughs> Sweet. That was easy. Someone give me a staples button. Locked on. Oh. Strike in. Clear back. Out. Also, I'd like to apologize for not having videos up yesterday. We're going to make this and the Pokemon episode 30 minute videos because I feel bad. <laughs> it's been very college. It's been crazy. Oh, no! Looks like they're bombing a Navi village. Ryder, uh, you better go see Falco. Yeah. What the hell was that? I mean, it showed the little signal thing that we put down, uh, but um, it looked like it was bombing a, a Navi village or something. That's not that's not what we were told that was for. What's going on here? I know what's going on. I'm adding dramatic effect. <laughs> I've played this before. <laughs> but I'm not going to spoil it. I'll let the game do the talking. I, man, there's gonna be a parkour gym opening near me soon. I can't wait. Because I wanna, I wanna learn parkour, like legitimately. Commander Falco, what are you doing? Here? Watch your head there. Don't get caught Plans in the blades. Change, kid. I need you to follow Tanjala. We just learned he's the link to the mole, and I need that mole right now. What the hell's going on? I'm shutting down the Navi once and for all. The only loose end is that mole. Follow Tanjala, and he'll lead you straight to him. Uh, okay. Well, I kind of forgot there was a mole that we had to be dealing with here. I'll save you, buddy. There you go. See? I saved him. Oh, God. Like, of all the things that I want to learn how to do... Like, I'm not into sports at all. The only physical activities I give a damn about are martial arts and now parkour is something I'm interested in. Because doing, being able to do something like this, it just looks like so much fun. Like, I want to learn how to do that so badly. That and, and just, you know, playing games, watching movies like Brick Mansions or like playing games like Assassin's Creed is really inspiring in that regard. Not so much the jumping between buildings and almost dying, but, you know, just the uh, the free running kind of aspect of it. Looks so much fun! I want to do it! Soon. Soon. The uh, parkour gym that's supposed to open nearby is actually taking, like, donations now, so... Easy there. Haha. There we go. I think I'm gonna donate there and try to get a try to get my name in the drawing for a t-shirt. But it'll be so much fun. It'll give me something something to do other than playing guitar and video games. It'll give me another another hobby to the long list of hobbies that I already have. <laughs> it's if I need more hobbies. Well there was Tanjala. Uh, because we are playing as an avatar, we can interact with some of the wildlife now, like in the movie. So that's pretty cool. This horse has six legs, which is interesting. I think it's called a dire horse, I think. Also, the game does not seem to go into the little detail that they have to like connect their hair braids to the to the animal or anything. But eh, whatever. Relatively minor detail. It's a video game after all. Commander Falco. <clears throat> what do you got, kid? It's Dr. Harper. I can see him right now with Tanjala. Son of a bitch, Harper. Oh boy. All right, we're loading a scorpion now. Get down there and don't let Harper get away. Well, Tanjala's out of here. Harper, 
How could you? It's you. You're the mole. Is that what you're here for? Find the mole. <laughs> well, you did it. I'm the mole. Great work, Ryder. I smell promotion in the air. Do you realize what you're doing? Think about what you're doing. Any of this look familiar? Wait, that's... Yeah, that's where the Navi used to live. Before you stepped in. Me? I didn't do this. Everyone's hearing about it. The new SIG spec locked the target. What the hell did you think you were doing? They told me it was... Oh, God. They used you, Ryder. Falco and the RDA are finished. It's just a matter of time. I've joined with the Navi. Give it up, Harper. Don't make this messy. The Navi could use you. It's now or never. We're two avatars against these guys. We can take them. Let's do it right now. Right now! Time's up! Ryder, I order you to shoot Harper. So, I said this in the other Let's Play, I'll say it again. Morally, I side with the Na'vi. I think the RDA are more fun to play as, because you get access to all the vehicles and stuff. But we've already played as the RDA, so we're going to play with the Na'vi now, which means shooting Falco in the face. Also, sh uh, Falco's an ass, so screw you, Falco. And just like that, the choice is made. And we are officially on the Na'vi story path. Now, it may look like he's dead, but he's not dead. That would be way too easy. Go! Go! He's, like, not even injured. Not by a long shot. We gotta go now. Grab your dire horse. And there we go. The decision is made. Now, here's another thing about playing as a Na'vi. All of the locations that you go to are the same locations, for the most part, as you would get as the RDA, but... Now they give them to you in the Navi language. So these names, well, I can just tell you now I'm going to end up pronouncing a lot of them wrong. Iknamaya, for example, I don't know if that's right, but I mean, it seems pretty reasonable to me that that would be the pronunciation. You know, I mean, that seems like a logical, a logical, logical uh, pronunciation. So. The RDA doesn't do anything piecemeal. This is just a taste of the fury to come. Those long-range missiles will fry this whole sector. Your new friends got anything better than bows and arrows? They defend their homeland. Those are the only weapons they need. Great. Good choice, Ryder. Always back in the underdog. <laughs> I don't know, man. Those bows are pretty awesome in the movie. Oh, gosh. Okay, so why did our armor change? Well, that's because we actually upgraded, basically. We got better armor. Even though it doesn't look like that should provide much more protection, it does. So we've actually... it's just a different armor set, basically. Also, we have weapons. We have these, like, dual sword things. And I think we have some other ones, weapons. Yeah, so we got our M60 still. Uh, we're always going to have that. They call it something different. I think it is technically different, but uh, that's what we got. And then we have a fighting staff the dual blades, and then in the top slot, much like the pistols, we have a bow. And you can fire this as quickly or as slowly as you want, and I'm not, I'm not honestly sure if drawing makes a damage difference. I'm coming with you. I'm surprised he hasn't already done that. Only slow us down. We're riding banshees. This is a skill you gotta learn from Beidama, the mightiest warrior of the Tepani. A word of caution. Vedamo doesn't take kindly to strangers. Excuse me? I just betrayed my own people to be here. Then he especially won't like you. He hates traitors. Find Morali. She is mated with Vedamo. She'll know what to do. Morali, okay. Alright, Morali, where are you? Is it is it them up there? Appears to be them up there. I see a little yellow text box looking thing. 
So we can climb up these vines, like so, to kind of help us get around. I'm going to go ahead and activate this Tree of Vision real quick because I'm probably going to want this. I think that is Beidamo right there. So we need to not talk to him right away. We need to go over here and talk to you first. Dreamwalker, Renee Harper speaks good of you, but I fear Beidamo not happy to see you. Beidamo? He's the guy I need to talk to about an Ekron. Then you must offer a token of respect. Find rare fireweed. Only then will Beidamo speak to you. Can do. I think this is going to introduce another new uh, game mechanic to us, one that we did not see in the RDA side. Oh, jeez, I, I just saw that as I fell down. I was like, wait, there's a hole. Oh, too late. <laughs> Hermit buds are excellent weapons. Shoot these exploding plants to attack enemies or dislodge floating rocks. Just like so. Uh-oh. What's this? It looks like I have to aim if I want to hit them at that range. Yeah, it looks like it. So, aiming, or drawing, I should say, uh, increases the range, it seems like. Thankfully, this bow is quite powerful. Is this, is this it? We already got it? Oh, that was easy. Yep, that was Beidamo. Okay, Vedamo, I bring you a gift. Oh, he didn't, like, really jump. He just kind of... Yeah. Uh, uh, Come on, you can do it. I guess I can't do it. Nope. All right, fine. Go this way. Grab onto this vine, climb up. Now, it's been a long, long time since I played this as the Na'vi, so... Oh, God, seriously? It's been a long time since I played this as the Na'vi... And therefore, uh, I don't I don't expect to do very well here. Um, I know that the reason I didn't play as the Navi very much is, again, like I said before, I think the RDI are more fun because you get to access all the vehicles and stuff. And that is just so cool. I'm really, when it comes to sci-fi games and stuff, I really love playing as the humans. Because I think it's so neat to look at that kind of technology and think, man, we'll be there someday. What's like, we'll this? have that kind of spaceship technology. Someday. like the flowers? I hear you betrayed your own kind to be here. So did Harper. How soon will you betray us? It will take more than this offering to earn my trust. Your people attack us with burning spears, missiles, as you say, thrown from far like cowards. Sky Tower guides the missiles. You must destroy the tower. Find Morali. She leads the attack. Okay. I've seen explosives left behind by the RDA. If I can find more, I can take out those towers. Huh. The cow's path. You humans do not fight with honor. Go, destroy the towers however you wish. Hmm. Yeah, he does not like us. All right, Morali, what's your plan for this? Beidamo didn't go for the flowers. The same flower was Beidamo's first gift to me. He will not show it, but he now knows you have my blessing. Come, we must destroy Sky Tower. We find these... how you say... Tike. Will you help us? These boxes are explosives. You know, boom boom. Yes, we have word for this. Kangangang. We will make fire out of stone. Kangangang. And there seems to be a friggin' X in it for some reason. <laughs> so, I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, let's see. I think they want me to take that vine to get down there. Wee oh my god, that butterfly twist is awesome. Jump. Aha! Ooh, cell sample. Thank you. We have two recovers right now. That's not bad. Oh boy. We're going to get our first taste of some actual fighting with the RDA here. There's five of them. Oh, there's a bunch of us. Alright, here we go. Dual swords. Let's grab this, too. 
Two swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, you can also get cell samples from killing the RDA. Well, this is going very well so far. Oh, and then um, you get a special as well. So let's press X. No, never mind. Oh, if you get, if you get a big, big enough combo. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. Charge. Okay, then we also have this awesome staff thing. By the way, as far as I can tell, there is not like heavy and light attacks. It's just all or nothing. Pull the trigger or don't. So. Ah ha ha! It's a dragon. A scorpion. Where are the boxes? There's one over here. Oh jeez. Hitboxes, in terms of movement, are a little difficult in this game sometimes. There we go. Ah, I need to get up there. How? How? There we go. I see it. Oh, what? Oh, this is, this is a type of uh, uh, collectible around the map. Oh, uh, there we go. Is that... And now we need to head back that way again. Woohoo! Thankfully, fall damage is pretty lenient in this game, so. Ow. Ow, and this is part of the problem with playing as the Navi. Uh, you have to charge your opponents uh, while they shoot at you. Ow. You have to... You have to rely on your, um... Oh, I don't have unlimited ammo. I guess that was temporary. Okay, that's fine. Um... You have to rely on your skills, like, a whole lot more when you're playing against the Na'vi. So, something to keep in mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like they're... Ah, god. Yeah, I thought they might be destroying the little land bridge that I was standing on. Oh, god. Oh, really? Like, slid off the side of it. Are you? Whoops, that's the plant. Shoot that guy. There we go. Oh gosh. Ow. Not a shotgun, not a shotgun. That's bad. Crap. I didn't want to fall down here. I slid off the side of the thing. No. Where are you? Give me the box. Give me the box. Thank you. There's another one over here somewhere. Oh, it must be above me. Ow! Ow! I'm invisible. I'll run away from you. <laughs> eh, thankfully, that lasts for quite a while. Let's heal. There we go. Okay. Wow, that lasts for a long time. Good. Need it. Other boxes up here. Let's see if I don't fall off again. Gimme, gimme. Need as many cell samples as I can find at this point. Oh god! There we go, cell sample. Okay, drawing the bow definitely has a damage difference. You can already see how much harder this is to play as the Navi than the uh, RDA. Uh, get out of here. Sprint. Thank you. Gimme, gimme. Ow! What the hell? Stupid little drone things blow up on me. Climb. Climb to victory. There we go. There's those guys dealt with. Guys, you're kind of getting shot at from the right there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. That's not good. That dragon is going to be the end of us. Oh look, there's a hole in there. In the fence. Okay. I'm going to grab this. We're going to climb up here. We're going to grab that. Jump. Yep. There's a very, ooh, slight delay in the jump. 
Oops. Oh, not the not the chopper. That guy. Oh, come back here, you. I don't want to blow that up. I don't need to blow that up. Well, if he's gonna leave me alone, then I'm fine with it. I do need to remember that I have a gun. Ow! That I can use. There we go. Oh. Nope. Nope. Ah. There we go. Let's heal. So if I get desperate, I do have a weapon. Oh boy. Don't tell me I need to destroy that thing. Oh, it looks like I do. Ah! No, it looks like I could, but if I needed to, but I don't, so. We won't. That guy's out of range. That drone isn't. And I don't know if it's been really obvious yet, but um, basically, this thing will... Uh... Oh, boy. Ugh, I had to sneeze. Um... So, the bow will actually just fire where the orange diamond is, even if that's not necessarily where I'm aiming. Like, if I do that, you can see my, my reticle was not actually on the guy. Uh, or like this drone, it went f straight for the drone. So, the game is uh, actually quite lenient in that regard, which is nice. That's a turret I should deal with. Yeah. There's an A-pod there, too. Get rid of that. I do not have an unlimited number of arrows, which is a little bit of a problem. See, I can't actually hit that guy, even if I line it up myself. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Cool. Sweet. I didn't know that worked. The more you know. There you go. Uh, let's put these seven massive crates of explosives in the base of this little tiny tower. I hope I wasn't standing there. That'd be bad. Oh, here's Bedamo, I think. Alright, Bedamo, you have my trust now. So what if I... Not that. Does that help me? I guess... Oh, it's just a way to attack some of these troops. Yeah. And it gives me a little bit of cover, too, which is nice. Okay, cool. Need more cell samples. I always need more cell samples. Oh, look, another Ekron that we can honor as a collectible. I think. Can I do it? Did I do it? I got it, I guess? I think so. I was pressing Y that whole time, so I think I got it. Also, destroying A-pods is a sector challenge when you're playing as the Navi. Oh, look, we get arrows out of the out of the plants. Well, that's nice. That's really nice, because I was wondering how we were going to restock our arrows. Alright, what do you think now? The missiles have stopped. But one small task does not make you an ally human. You must climb. Find the Ikran nests, what you call banshees. I will wait for you there. I don't suppose I can thumb a ride. <laughs> a true Nabi climbs to his Ikran. You must prove your worth. Only cowards do not climb. <laughs> okay, then. I can do that. Oh, we got some new stuff. What do we get? We got a new machine gun, looks like. And we got a giant club-looking thing. Hold on here. Okay, so that is, oh wow, only has a slight bit more damage, but it looks awesome. That thing looks so cool, okay. And then we also got this club. So that's a staff, this is a club, and the dual blades, okay. Well, I guess we'll try the club. I We tried the staff a little bit earlier and it was not doing anywhere near as much damage as the uh, dual blades were, so hopefully the club can do a little bit better. So the climbing is not, like, anything crazy, it's just a whole lot of this. Being on a vine and climbing straight up and, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Charge! Thank you. Oh. What? Yeah! That was nice. Well, this thing is pretty sweet. It takes forever to swing, but it's awesome. I love it. Wow, some of these things are giving us double cell samples. 
I thought you didn't start getting double cell samples from one thing until like a lot later in the game. Or maybe it's just a, you know, a rare chance that it'll happen. Get him! Get him! Get him! I mashed the trigger, there we go. Ah! I didn't press the trigger that time. Delayed reaction. And let's climb up here. Like I said, this, this part is just a whole lot of climbing on vines. It's just over and over and over again, basically. One after another. Wow, guys. Take it easy with the, uh, with the explosions there. Hope this is the right way. So it looks like there's a path around there. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, they can still hit me apparently. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. No, I stopped pressing the button. Okay, you leave me alone down there, drone. So there is a tiny delay in when you pre uh, between when you press the jump button and when he actually jumps because, of course, he has to like, you know, get ready to jump. And I crouch down first so he can get the momentum. Go, go, go! Come on, get the, the. He didn't grab the thing. Grab it! Grab! 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 Thank you. Oh boy! Ah! Who the hell? This is not my best weapon. Come on. Come on. Oh, whatever. Need to go this way, I think. Doesn't look like the way. Oh boy. Getting a little lost. Getting a little bit lost. Is this no, okay, it's a torch. I thought I saw an A-pod right there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's I mean I guess we'll keep going this way. We're gonna we're gonna see these guys here in a second, either way. What? What? Okay, I guess. I don't know how to let go of the arrow without letting it fly. Oh. Let's get drone. Get that crap out of here. Oh, I could have just kept going up this way. I mean we're still going up, so. We must be sort of on the right path, at least in some uh, respect. Oh yeah, here we go. We're doing something right. There's a lot to go, it looks like. Oh my gosh, oh there they are. Okay. That looks pretty sweet. I don't know if we're going to have time for all that. Let's get as far as we can, and then we'll end off the episode at, you know, the appropriate time. And if I have to redo some of this, then it's fine. We got the link chambers, but we've taken heavy losses. Falco really wants us dead. We're heading back now. Stay with Beidamo. He's your safest bet. Okay, except he doesn't like me, so what then? Gosh, the movement is like, he really doesn't want to stop moving when you tell him to stop moving, or like when I let go of the stick. Alright, you mind? You're not killing me with that, you're just, you know, yeah, wasting ammo, really. Not even destroying my land bridge. Oh god. Charge! I thought that would, like, protect me a little bit. Uh, freaking bullets, but I guess not. Cut. Hiya! Uh, heal. What is this other one? Oh, it's like a ground pound sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, there we go. So if I get a whole bunch of guys around me, I can just do that real quick. I got four recoveries, though. It seems to me that uh, cell samples are just a little more common playing as the Navi. Now, maybe that's just my imagination, but it sure seems like it. I knew that one guy was on super low health, so I figured if I could just hit him, like, at all, then we'll be good. Oh. Hello. Anyone else? No? I'm not going that way anyways. I am going to climb! Further. 
Okay, we are at about the 30 minute mark, so that will do it for this episode of James Cameron's Avatar of the Game as the Navi. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.